Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a yellow gold limited edition of 60 pieces launched for the 2008 model year. This is the Vacheron Constantin Metier dot Great Explorer series, and the model is the Marco Polo. So you can see imagery in miniature painting and cloisonne enamel on the dial, depicting the 13th century Venetian explorer's travels along a historic Silk Road from east to west. This watch is a celebration of his achievements over a journey of 24 years, and more on that in a moment, but let's talk about the watch's dimensions. It's fairly large by Vacheron standards, being 40 millimeters in diameter, in yellow gold. It's 12.6 millimeters thick, but from lug to lug, it's fairly short at 45.6 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now you throw it on the wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters circumference. It has a nice presence, but it's not too big. With yellow gold, a watch can definitely get too big. I would recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, and you can see it's flat enough that it should fit underneath a dress cuff. No issues there. It's a handsome watch. It's got reassuring heft to it because the case back is a solid piece of gold with a compass rose on it and that adds a lot more weight than a sapphire. The strap, as you could see, is a Vacheron factory strap with calfskin on the bottom and large rectangular scale alligator leather in reddish brown and a matte finish on the top. It has a monotone stitch and a sheer cut side. It also comes with a double folding clasp in matching yellow gold. You can see internally polished and media blasted and it features the Vacheron Maltese cross motif interior and exterior. Rolling over to the case, it's nicely made. This is welded lug construction. I talk about this a lot on the reviews, but it's important because compared to just stamping or machining cases, this takes a lot of work in hand finishing. The case and the lugs are made separately. The lugs are inserted into the case. They're then welded together and then evidence of the welded joint is removed to create this sharp break between case and lug. The case is of high polish. You can see it has a rounded profile. The lugs are narrow when viewed end on and fluted in profile. They extend up over the bezel, which is elegant and attractive. And then you can see that the bezel itself is conical with a bit of a step in board of the rounded case flank and a flange adjacent to the sapphire. We have Vacheron's Maltese Cross logo again on the crown and then the dial. This is what you're really paying for here. So there's a couple of things going on. There's miniature painting, there's Grand Faux enamel, and then there's cloisonne. So the image of the trip from the west to the east includes terrain, it includes figures, it includes a compass rose, it includes different colors and shades, and this is achieved by painting a solid gold base with vitreous enamel, a glass-based paint, firing it at up to 20 times at 800 degrees Celsius. These little golden borders are creating created using cloison, or little gold wires that create the boundaries of the landmass, and then miniature painting is combined with enameling to create the landmasses, the figures, the terrain, and the building scene. You could see that the cloisonne continues down onto the subdial, which is its own piece of handcrafted enamel, and what really sets this apart is that it is both miniature painted cloisonne enamel and a satellite hours display. So you can see right now it's 9.30. That's how that works. Now it is 10.10, beloved of watch photographers. It's a digital scale. It's wandering hours. It works exactly like an Audemars Piguet star wheel. It is exactly the same thing, drawn from the same historical traditions. So it is a digital time scale, and you can see how the numerals float above that lower enamel dial. Now you can also see in Latin at the base of the dial, I'll translate it loosely, a mer you know, okay, first his name, Marco Polo, a, a merchant and explorer, traveled throughout the East and brought back stories from a journey of 24 years. And that is the basis for this watch, that journey of two and a half decades. Now you turn it over and you'll note that there is no visible movement, but it's a good one. It's a JLC 899 base 
automatic winding with a 38 hour power reserve. It does have stop seconds, even though there is no seconds hand. It is a JLC tractor movement. Vacheron and LeCoult have history dating back to the 19th century. So the union of a Vacheron display system, case, design, and enamel with a JLC base has a long-standing historical tradition behind it. So you get that 889 automatic and 38 to 40 hours of power reserve. It is a thin, finely finished, high horology tractor movement befitting a watch like this, and the watch is 30 meters water resistant. Vacheron calls that movement in Vacheron parlance an 1126. So reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this Vacheron Constantin Metador Marco Polo.